mission specialist Pierre Thewitt. This is his first trip into space for mission STS-36. Also the first trip for pilot John Casper. And Commander Creighton, John Creighton, is making his second trip to today. Mission Specialist David Hilmers and Mission Specialist Mike Mullain are making their third flights into space. This is uh, taken from the crew quarters and the operations and checkout building. It was recorded earlier this morning. This is uh, the crew getting into their flight suits. Commander John Creighton already with his helmet on and uh, gloves on. Third time for the flight crew to get suited up and uh, go uh, get ready for the launch today. And pilot John Casper indicating he's ready to go. Mike Mullane. Again, these events uh, were recorded earlier. And we've got Mission Specialist David Hilmers being assisted with his helmet. Mission Specialist Pierre Thewitt waiting his turn for uh, some assistance in getting his helmet on. Climbing aboard the astronaut van. Access arm now being moved back away from the vehicle, and it can be re-extended in just a few moments if necessary. Pilot Casper reports there are no unexpected errors. T minus two minutes and counting. The crew has been instructed to close and lock their visors for flight. And we have a go for pressurization of the liquid hydrogen tank. T minus 15. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. We have a go for main engine start. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition and liftoff of Atlantis and mission STS-36. This is mission control, Houston. Roll program has begun. That program puts the vehicle in the proper launch plane. Guidance officer confirms good roll. Three engines now throttling back 
as Atlantis passes through the area of maximum dynamic pressure. The throttle down that reduces the aerodynamic load on the vehicle. Three APUs looking good, all engines looking good. Velocity is 1,200 feet per second. Atlantis now downrange three nautical miles. Crew has received the go at throttle up call. That call means that all systems are performing well. The three engines are now back at 104 percent. Velocity 2,200 feet per second. Downrange eight nautical miles. Separation of the solid rocket booster is confirmed by the booster officer. Atlantis now traveling at 4,500 feet per second, 39 miles downrange. Altitude now about 700 feet. Landing gear is down. Main gear touchdown. Nose gear touchdown. And wheel stop reported by uh, Mission Commander J.O. Creighton. Capcom Steve Oswald uh, greeted the crew with uh, congratulations on a great flight, guys, and welcome back. Mission elapsed time, four days, 10 hours, 18 minutes. Nose gear touchdown, unofficial time, four days. 10 hours, 18 minutes, 33 seconds. Unofficial time for wheel stop was four days, 10 hours, 19 minutes, 15, 1, 5 seconds. This is Mission Control. We have the flight crew uh, coming from Atlantis now. J.O. Creighton, John Casper, being greeted by uh, Dr. William Lenore, and Don Putty and Michael Coates. 
Now uh, Pierre Thewitt and Dave Hilmers and Richard Mullane also there. Dr. Lenore is the Associate Administrator for Space Flight for the agency. Mr. Uh, Donald Putty is the Director of Flight Crew Operations at the Johnson Space Center. And Michael Coates is a member of the Astronaut Corps. 